Now the latest on the Biden presidency and a rare moment of bipartisanship. The Senate voted to advance the long-awaited bill to repair roads, bridges, and much more. CBS 4's Laura Podesta tells us what's next. The motion upon reconsideration is agreed to. With a vote of 67 to 32, the Senate is now officially open to debate the plan President Biden has pushed for so long. Looks like you reached a bipartisan agreement on infrastructure, fancy word for bridges, roads, transit systems, high-speed internet, clean drinking water. Some hurdles still remain. The legislative text still needs to be written, and progressive Democrats could demand changes. We anticipate over the course of the coming days, as we work through the amendment process, that we will earn and garner more support. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer also wants to keep a close eye on what Democrats consider the other half of the prize, passing a budget plan to fund universal preschool, create a paid family leave program, and enhance Medicare benefits. It might take some long nights. It might eat into our weekends. But we are going to get the job done, and we are on track. A recent CBS News poll shows a majority of Americans support the bipartisan infrastructure plan with overwhelming support for specific elements of both plans. We've shown America tonight that we can work together. According to a GOP summary obtained by the Associated Press, the infrastructure bill is expected to be paid for by tapping into unspent COVID relief aid and unemployment insurance aid. It's also betting on expected economic growth to bring in an additional $56 billion. Laura Podesta, CBS News.